I, I really don't know why I'm here. Uh, I feel like a stranger in paradise. Um, I, I come from the very low secondary level of politics. Now I'm here with the sublime. So, uh, actually I started just putting things in a notebook. Mm. Long before Megan was born. <laughs> we were neighbors in Pasay. Were you born already? No. <laughs> That's a long time ago. Yeah, Freddie was my neighbor. Anyway, uh, I put this down in a book, in a notebook. And over the years, I kept them. Whenever I feel something, I put it down in a notebook. And it need not necessarily refer to love. Sometimes it was just a thought. I'm a lawyer, so sometimes I'm about to sleep and then I think of something which I think should come up in a future trial. So I had this notebook. And over the years, we compiled it, we compiled it. And a lot of people were asking me to publish it. Uh, well, we tried several times, but uh, the most successful was Patrick Puruganan, who put this together. And uh, it's actually just feelings with heat which hit you. And I put it down. May I be allowed to read? These are short pieces. Uh, after you. You are my sunrise after the night. You are my rainbow after the rain. You are my smile after the tears. After you, no one else. So, uh, this, this settled a lot of problems uh, for me. <laughs> I really, uh, my wife knew that I was writing for her, so that's her picture there. And that's my wife over there. there. Reason to write. Uh, actually, uh, love sometimes is not a continuing thing. Sometimes it hits you and then it's lost. So, this is something I wrote in 1982. It says it may, have, it may have been just two days, two weeks or two years. What matters is we've had fun and flowers, ribbons and rainbows, birds and butterflies, love and laughter, and each other. So no matter what, even if it's just two days, it will last. I wrote this uh, in my office in 1974. I was talking to a flower, a flower with a dewdrop on its petals. When I finished talking, the flower became your face and the dewdrop, your smile. I, I wrote this while I was talking to a girl with, with uh, as she said, the, you look at the face, <laughs> With a beautiful face. She was selling me something and I knew I wasn't going to buy. <laughs> so I wrote this down uh, to console her. <laughs> I folded the piece of paper and I gave it to her. And I said, we'll, we'll see what we can do. And uh, I said, open it when you get home. Two hours later, she calls me and she's crying. And she says, uh, this is, today is my birthday, and this is the best birthday gift I've ever received in my life. I've never saw the person again. So these are the results of, I have actually three, three volumes like this. Uh, it's there. Uh, my picture is at the back. <laughs> Uh, it, it has been retouched a couple of times. Yeah. Photoshop, etc. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, um, 
Your first lesson of the night is never be a politician and microphone. <laughs> That's your first lesson. Now you'll have to wait now till I finish it. Take 40 more minutes. <laughs> well, anyway, thank you and good evening.